Hey guys, what's up? This is Pokemon Zero, and I apologize for the shortage of the videos. I know that the best way to start off a video is not to be apologizing, but I really do apologize, and I want to get this video out. So this is episode 3 of a spigot slash bucket plugin coding tutorial, and we're going to do a block manipulation plugin. So meaning you can, like, listen for the blocks and manipulate them, such as turning them into air if somebody places TNT or something like that. So let's go ahead and create our Java project. The first thing we want to do is uh, build path, add external archives, and we are going to use the spigot uh, 1649 build, and new package, and we're going to name it block manipulation. So we're going to create a new class, we're going to call it main, so this is our main class for the plugin, and this plugin is going to be two classes. So this is the extends Java plugin class, and we're going to make our on enable and on disable methods. Oop. Okay, so in our on enable, we're going to um, we're going to have to register the events. And by that, I mean we are going to have to uh, register our listener class. So let's go ahead and create our listener class. So block, just call it block listener. All right, so we're going to implement listener. So now, now that we have our listener class, we're going to, in our on enable method, we are going to add so plugin manager, ooh, can't type today, pm equals this dot get server dot get plugin manager. Okay, we're going to do pm dot register events new block listener, and that's a method, uh, comma this. What's the problem? Okay, and that's just there. Oh, that's because it's not imported. Okay, so we should be okay now. Okay, so then uh, now that we have made our on enable and on, on disable methods, we're going to go ahead and create just a simple command. Stream args. All right, and we've got turn true, import everything. All right, and if label not equals ignore case, um, hmm, what can we do? Let's just say block manipulation p player p equals player sender cast player to sender. Um, okay, so p dot send message and let's make it blue plus block manipulation plugin made for YouTube tutorial. So that's pretty easy. Now you're probably wondering why I just put blue and not chat color dot blue. So what we're going to do to fix that, so we don't have to put chat color, is we're going to do import static org.bucket.chatcolor.star. And it's going to send us a chat color blue message. So now we've got our main class pretty much all configured. So now for our block listener. So it's a listener. We're going to need to add in some events. So our first event, at event handler public void on on block place block place event e 
import everything. We're going to establish a couple variables now. Material block equals e dot get block dot get type. And also we're going to do player p equals e dot get player. There, export or bucket material. And we're good. Okay, so now we're going to um, come away from our event a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to create a list type thing. So we're going to do public static material blacklist equals, and then we're going to leave this blank. So this is the blacklist for the materials, and we're going to add a few things to here. So just to test out the plugin, we're going to put in material.tnt, and that'll work. So the next thing, we're going to create a for loop. And what that does is every time something happens, it's going to do something else. So our for loop is going to be for material blocked equals blacklist. If blocked equals block, because we're checking if the material that is blocked in the blacklist is equal to the block which is the block place. So we're going to make this a little easier to understand. So material block placed, block placed, block placed, and block in blacklist, block in blacklist. So that's a little easier to understand if you're newer to this type of coding. So we're going to do, um, we can do a few things here actually. Now we're going to do, um, we're going to establish another variable, actually, and I know up here we're getting the uh, the type of the block that was placed, but now we're going to do uh, material block equals e dot get block. So this is actual material. Let's just call it e block equals e dot. Okay, block e block equals e dot get block. So now we're actually getting the block that was placed. So if we um, so if if we can't use the block place that we've already established because that's getting the type of the block and the type of the block is usually um, it's compatible with type which is not the actual block object. So now block e block equals e dot get block so we're going to do e block dot set type and we're going to get material dot air. So now we're going, so by doing this, we're replacing TNT with air. So um, we can also do a few other things in this. We can do um, p dot chat, and we can send a message from the player, and we can say, I just attempted to place plus block in blacklist. Uh, we can do a few other things. P dot, um, we can add a potion effect, we can kill them, we can ban them, kick them. Let's kick player. Okay, so that's pretty much it. But before we export our plugin, we're going to need to create a plugin.yml. So we're going to new file. We all know how to do this. Plugin.yml. All right. And we need to open it up in the Eclipse text editor. So new blah, 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 blah. Open with text editor. Okay, name block manipulation version 1.0 main me dot pokemon dot block manipulation dot main and there we go so now we can export our plugin and we're going to name it block manipulation dot jar uh block manipulation <laughs> we don't want to export the wrong one okay so now we'll be back with uh, in-game footage. Okay, so we're back with some in-game footage. Now the 
Command will not work because we didn't define it in the plugin.yml, but it was a nice little thing just to add to the plugin that we made. So if you want that command to work, just go ahead and define that in the plugin.yml. If you don't know how to do that, that's in the last episode. But anyway, so here's what we have with the plugin. So I've got some TNT in my inventory. Let's see what happens when I try to place it. You have been kicked for placing a banned block. And if we go to the console, I just attempted to place TNT. So our plugin did work, and it worked pretty well. So that has been how to manipulate blocks in Minecraft. Now, if you have any, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, if you feel that I did something wrong, then feel free to uh, drop a comment down below. Um, and I know I'm not exactly a master coder. I mean, I've been doing this for two years. I'm pretty good. So sorry if there's something wrong with the code or anything, but um, there shouldn't be. It works just fine. And if there are any other, um, if you have suggestions for any other tutorials to do in the future, please make sure to leave them in the comment bo box below. Um, so. I guess that's about it. That's all I have to say. So, I will see you next time. This has been an episode of How to Make a Bucket Spigot Plugin, and hopefully you'll be able to make one, a good one, pretty soon. And that was a very bad ending, so goodbye. <laughs>